Hello, my viewers. One or more of you out there have asked me to make another wiring diagram video, so on with the show. Here's a little pressure switch that gets brazed into the suction line. This low pressure switch is adjustable. Both pressure switches though would look about the same on a wiring diagram like this. A loss of charge switch looks much like a pressure switch. The difference is of course is that uh, if you lose the entire charge it will open and here it is on the wiring diagram. Here's a high pressure switch that has a manual reset where you have to press the button to reset the switch and here's one that has an automatic reset built inside. This one is adjustable, although you have to press the reset switch to reset it. This high pressure switch it resets automatically, and we just set up the pressure limits to it. And either way, all the high pressure switches I just mentioned would look like this in a wiring diagram. And it is true that usually a lot of the pressure switches are all connected in series like shown in this wiring diagram. Here's an oil pressure switch that has a manual reset button. And here's one that resets automatically. Notice there is no reset button. And here's what an oil pressure switch would look like on a wiring diagram. <clears throat> Here's a low ambient control switch that's used to cycle the condensing fan on and off as the pressure rises and goes down. And here's what a low ambient pressure switch would look like on the wiring diagram and there's another way that it's listed as FCPS as in fan control pressure switch. Here's what a chill water flow switch would look like and uh, here's what it looks like on a wiring diagram. This is a real nice phase monitor. It monitors both the front and back side of the contactor. And here's one that does not do the back side, but it simply monitors the inline voltage. And here's what it would look like on a wiring diagram. Here's a time delay that's very common. And here's a time delay on a wiring diagram. And as an extra bonus, here's what a defrost thermostat looks like in reality. And here's what it looks like on a wiring diagram. Thank you for watching.